Feedback surveys are an excellent way of keeping up with your customers' thoughts, opinions, experiences, and comments around your particular service or products. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own customer satisfaction survey called NPS by using your HubSpot service hub. Check this out. We're going to go to our HubSpot portal right here and we're going to click on service and then go to feedback surveys. Now we're going to create an NPS survey. So I'm just going to walk you through the process here. Right now uh, you would go to this section where it says create survey. And in here I generally would choose just this customer loyalty NPS uh, survey since this is like a very uh, useful and actually industry standard type of template. So let's do that. Let's just choose, choose that one. As a delivery method, we'll just use email for now. You can also use web page as you can see. But right now we're actually uh, going to just uh, have it as an email last so let's do that let's hit create at the top once we do that we're gonna find ourselves in the actual back end of things and here we can actually edit as much as we want so for example I'll just put this NPS survey and then uh, in here you will see on the email settings you can choose your language we'll leave it as English the company name definitely so you can edit this this portion I'll put here our company George B Thomas LLC there we go. And then from name, uh, we can actually choose uh, myself here. Uh, or And the from address can either be no reply at servicehub.com, uh, but you can also choose your own. So let's do that. Uh, and in here, I want to leave the subject line as it is. Uh, so we'll leave that like that and then just use our default office location. And now in the email body, you will see two things right here. W one thing is the uh, the greeting which you can actually personalize and, and fully edit as you wish and the other one is a section that you can't really edit and here's why because it is an industry standard used by businesses all over the world so that just means that everybody's going to be measured in the same way right so there's no skewing of uh, any data or any differences in the yeah I would say the, the, the way that you are uh, judged by your uh, customers so let's just leave it as this uh, I'll I'll just put in here since we can actually personalize this one I'll just put your opinion matters to us and then we'll just proceed to go to the feedback section right here in this tab in here we also we can also personalize the follow-up questions to any scores so for example for the tractors we have like can you tell us more about your experience so we can get it right the next time right so that we can really gather they, they have a, a, a thousand five hundred characters that they can just fill in of info regarding why they didn't like our service or liked it or did or just are kind of like in the middle uh, there so here we also have up the passive um, score which is anything from seven to eight so seven or eight and the question is can you tell us more about your experience we can do even better next time you will see that all of these questions are defaults uh, but you can definitely edit this and there's uh, some character limit yeah there we go you, you, you can edit this as you wish and then promoters which are basically anybody who ranks between uh, well actually either 9 or 10 can you tell us why you scored so highly and you can actually get a bit uh, humanize this a little bit and by saying we love working with you can you tell us why you scored us so highly or we highly appreciate you or whichever uh, messaging that you consider to be best a best fit for this particular question let's just go to the thank you now since we're, we're good with that uh, you can actually re replace the featured image so in here I'll just put uh, George B right here who is going to be uh, the one thanking uh, for that particular survey and then I'll just input here maybe exclamation mark and then that that'll be it I want to thank you image and then we'll just choose recipients now I you can in this particular section this is quite important because there are several ways you can go about it so you can start from scratch and choosing a particular contact property company deal ticket or even some form of email address or feedback submission property the truth is that you can also choose something like became a customer date is more than 30 days ago or uh, the way I would do it is by choosing a static list in this particular list that I have right here these are like basically every contact that has had a deal that is close one uh, with us so so I just want I just want to gather yeah an NPS survey from absolutely everybody who has bought from us whether they're a customer returning customer or they will actually all be uh, customers at some point if they were a close one but just for this purpose, even if they are not engaged, they'll be sent a, an NPS survey. So I can also choose the frequency of this. Uh, every three months is recommended by HubSpot. You can also see further info right here uh, if you need help with that. But definitely uh, if I say, well, I just want to send it every six months or a one-off, right? So 
there's a lot of ways you can go about it but I think uh, we can leave the every three months recommended and then you can set up some automation in this tab which is save time to automate your follow-up actions perfect and I'll actually just add myself to the team of people who are gonna get notified about it so uh, I'll put that there and then you can also send a survey reminder email to, to people so I would say uh, the recommendation is two days but you can also definitely uh, choose anything between one and seven days and you got to toggle this off the, sorry on in case that you can uh, um, in case that you do want to go that way, right? And there's just some follow-up follow -up actions uh, pertaining to whatever responses anybody gave. In this particular case, maybe I want to focus on detractors and maybe send uh, some form of uh, email marketing communication or create a task for one of my sales reps to follow up. So I, I can actually do that. Uh, follow up and uh, yeah, I made sure I spelled that right. Perfect. And then I'll, it is just a to-do that's going to be uh, immediately sent to uh, me and then I'm just going to go and actually I would just go in the assign task too and I'm just gonna choose specific user and I'm gonna choose myself right so I just want to say uh, please follow up with client and then uh, we can leave it like that and that'll be happening immediately after we get there either from zero to six points response so we'll put high priority on this uh, ticket right here and I'll hit save and now uh, we're ready to actually review our NPS survey uh, right now I'm not gonna hit uh, publish but we can actually send a test survey uh, our way so let's actually do that so I'm just gonna send it my way and then uh, we'll just choose, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine like that. And I'll send that to the survey and I'll show it in a moment. And as you can see, here's what we get, right? So, hey, your opinion matters to us. How likely is it that you would recommend uh, George P. Thomas LLC to a friend or colleague? Uh, we're surely going to hit 10 right here. So uh, you can see that you can further, it's great, right? We can fill it up, submit, and thanks so much. So as you can see, this, this is how it work. It would work uh, to set up uh, an MPS survey via your uh, HubSpot service hub. So you now know how to walk through your own uh, service hub portal pertaining specifically to feedback service, how to generate your own NPS survey, as well as choosing the right audience for it, and also checking how uh, you can preview that follow-up in an email. Remember, education is great, but the execution is where it's at. So go out there and be the hub hero that your organization needs today.